back once again to my channel so on this tutorial i'll i'll be walking you through on how to draft your off shoulder sleeves okay so this is an off shoulder sleeve tutorial so i'll be using this uh, pattern paper actually i'll be cutting a short sleeve but you can also apply it to your a your quarter sleeves or a long sleeves okay so this is actually a, sh a short sleeves okay this particular paper so now i'll use this to draft it after when you are so it's not on code as you can see but when you are cutting on fabric you have to place your fabric on code all right so guys let's get started so here i have my pattern paper so the length of this paper now is so the length of the sleeve I'll be working on, I'll be working on the sleeve length of, okay, first of all, I will draw out this line as my marginal line or my starting line, okay? So, this will serve as my starting line, okay? So the length of the sleeve I'll be working on, I'll be working on the length of um, 8 inches, so I'll go ahead and add extra 1 inch for folding okay so i have you can see what i have here i have nine inches so eight inch leave length and one inch for folding allowance making nine inches so here so this is it okay so having done this now the next we'll do right now is we'll get our cap height Okay, and the cap height I'll be working on, I'll be working on the cap height of 4 inches. You can make use of 5 inch or 4 inches, so but I'll be working on cap height of um, 4 inches, okay? So now, go ahead and roll it like this. So this is my 4 inch for the cap height. Alright, so now after this, the next thing I will do right now is to get here, like this upper part now. So how do you get here? Remember, when you, whenever you are uh, cutting an off shoulder, we normally minus uh, five inches. You can minus some. It depends on the type of off shoulder you are making, okay? But the most used one normally is five inch or four inches, okay? So now, so on my sleeve. I I I minus five inches wide cutting. So that the same thing you minus, you are going to replace it here, okay? So now I have this is my five inches, okay? So this is my five inch now. You can go ahead and add um extra half inch for joining it, okay? But I will not be I will not be adding that half inch for joining it because when I'm attaching it on my sleeve, okay, for it to fit properly well, I will be minusing half an inch for the actual um, measurement. Like I might not when I was cutting my off shoulder, I minus five inch. So now instead of me cut, marking five inch and adding extra half inch allowance for joining, I would rather go ahead. To mark the exact five inch so that when I'm fixing, I will minus half inch on this file so that it will fit properly well. So that when you face it, it's like you won't find your sleeve pulling down. Some maybe after fixing, you see that the sleeve is falling, it's not like it's not well on the body. You understand? So now, so I'll go ahead and mark the exact um. Five inch, but it depends. If you are working for a plus size, you can still maintain this five inch. You, you add your allowance, making five point five. All right. So, but this is for a medium size. So, I will go ahead and mark the exact five inch because when I'm sewing, I'll be sewing with half an inch. So after which I will be left with um, four point five. Okay. So having done that now, then how I got the Sorry, I forgot to explain how I got the amount of fabric we placed on fold. You measure your round uh, armhole. So whatever you got plus one inch 
allowance so that is what you have here so my run i am um, hold is nine inch plus half inch sorry plus one inch making 10 inches so here on this cap height now i'll be marking that 10 inches here okay it depends on what you measure on your arm pole all right so having gotten this now the next thing we'll do is to connect you connect this point to this point all right so you can connect it you can make a straight you can connect with a straight line or you make a slant this way all right you can as well make it straight like this it depends they are all they all work well you can use any of this line you can use you can slant it you can choose the slant or you can as well choose to curve it all right so the next thing is to input our um sleeve round our round sleeve uh, measurement and the round sleeve measurement i have i have the round sleeve measurement of the round sleeve measurement of 13 inches so 13 divided by 2, that will give us 6.5 plus my sewing allowance. You can add 1 inch or 1.5. So here I have my sewing allowance. So you go ahead and connect. Okay. So this is it. So this is just how to cut our off shoulder sleeve okay so whatever you minus you add it here five inch or you plus your extra uh, sewing allowance here so this is how to cut an off shoulder sleeve so the next thing i'll do right now is to go ahead and cut it out okay so like this so you can choose to use this uh, this slant one like this or you can choose to curve it out so whichever one you choose they are all perfectly fine so okay let me go ahead and slant it and as well decide to leave the that one they all work perfectly well oh god right. okay so this is it for the uh, off shoulder sleeve button so, so when you are transferring on your fabric, you place your fabric on hold, okay? So this is what you have here, guys. All right. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. You can give this video a thumbs up, comment, and share. All right? Okay, guys. See you. Bye.